Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be a continuation of uh, the foundation routine, and I'm going to go ahead and finish my face, and we're just going to call this uh, my foundation routine part two. So, I got the foundation, the concealer, the powder, and the brows done, so now I want to go in with bronzer and blush and highlighter. And so today I'm going to be using the Bronzed Rose Palette from Pacifica. And there's a mirror on the back. It's really, really nice. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Which, to look at it in the pan, it really didn't impress me when I first got it that much. But because I thought this color was kind of, um, the bronzer color was kind of, uh, I don't know, too golden or something for me. But when you put it on... It really works out nice. So I'm just using this brush here uh, from Morphe. It's a natural sable brush. And so it dips into the pan pretty good and pulls out a decent amount of product. So I'm just warming up the face here with this bronzer. And I'm going to take some down on the jawline. Just create a little shadow there. And blend that one down the neck. I used to never use bronzer, but here in the last year or so, I've just fallen in love with bronzer. Especially since my skin's been so fair. And I really like to use it not only to warm up the face, but to kind of help contour as well. So right here in this part of my face, it's like where gravity's kind of taking a toll there. I'd like to work on that area and create a shadow. Okay, now with a smaller brush, I want to put a little of this on my nose. Let me find something that's... Let me use this one here from um, BH Cosmetics. It's a synthetic brush, and it doesn't pick up a whole lot of product. But my nose is kind of got a bulbous end to it. So I like to kind of create a shadow there. Mostly, mostly down here on the bottom part, but I'll look work it blended up and 
and I don't like putting bronzer underneath or contour underneath my nose because then that just makes my the line of my nose look really sharp right here at the point and I don't really like that look so I'm gonna skip that part all right now I'm gonna use the blush in the palette and this is such a beautiful blush it's got um, there's a glowiness to it on the skin And maybe you can see that as we go here. It's almost like a natural kind of a highlighter. Just a lit from within kind of highlighter that's built into it. And some days when I'm in a big hurry or I just want to skip a step or I just need a product that's multifunctional, I'll grab for this blush and I'll skip the highlighter. See, see that shine? All right, now the other cheek. I like to do X's and O's. And then blend it out all the way back. Okay, so that's quite a bit of facial product there. Anyway, just a little bit with whatever's left over on the temples. Okay, now for highlighter. I want to use this brush from um, SL Miss Glam this beautiful brush here and I've got a baked highlighter that I've been enjoying from Estate called Doomy Doomy Lit it's a baked highlighter power from Estate And I got this out of my recent Ipsy bag. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? Let me swatch it for you so you can see it. It's one of those just gorgeous highlighters. Just, it's not going to show texture at all. And I'm just going to put that right there on the high point. Just right here on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and the cupid's bow. And then if you wanted to add a little bit more you could go right along the brows. And I like to do the top and the bottom. Okay, and whatever's left over, I'll just a little dab on the chin there. And then we're just gonna take some setting spray and I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna use this uh, Centering Citrus uh, photo finish. It's primer water and setting spray by Smashbox and I'm just going to use this. And we're just going to let that dry. And then I'll come back and do an eye look. So anyway, that is that is that is the part of the foundation routine, the foundation and the face products. And so anyway, this will be part two, and then I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll do the eye look and put on the lip a lip product and 
that can complete the look. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll link these products down below where you can find them. And you can get to them if you if you want to for the purchase. Uh, you can go to the Ipsy site to get this one right here. And uh, so anyway, God bless you all today is my prayer. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.